Hi everyone, I quickly wanted to make a quick video on anybody who does not have Photoshop 2021 and above. Everything on our website, um, the demonstration has been using this version here, which you should be very familiar with. And if you are not, please check out infinitecolorpal.com and you can see this version located pretty much everywhere through every tutorial. However, even though this version here is found under the plugins and infinite color menu, um, if you are using, say, 2020 and below, you will not have the plugins menu. And to keep things really basic um, understanding wise, this plugins menu is a kind of like a different architecture. Oops, sorry about that. This plugins menu is a different architecture, um, which allows for more of the advanced settings and functions and features to allow us to make infinite color panel fast and a bunch, you know, has a bunch of improvements with usability, etc. Um, but there were some things that we couldn't include for any version below 2021. So if you say have version of C 2020 for whatever reason, maybe that you know your system doesn't run 2021 properly, or you prefer having running 2019 or 2018, etc. We wanted to come up with a version uh, for you all. And with that version, you will find that under after installation, you will find it under window extensions, legacy, and um, infinite color suite. Now, the difference here is that this infinite color suite, it's pretty much identical. There are a couple of differences, and I'll talk about that in this video. But first, of all, I just wanted to point out that uh, Jordi Clark presented this image for us, and I, I'm just using it as a background image for visual interest. I really admire her work, and I appreciate her being in her community, and I just wanted to, to point her out here really quick. Now, you'll notice here for me personally that I have what plugins menu and Windows menu. But the reason why this, they both exist is, I'll be honest, in the future, Adobe is considering just removing extensions altogether. And if you know, most plugins and I mean tools and all that stuff is under the extensions menu for the most part. And in the future, you're going to find that it's there's only going to be the plugins menu. That's basically the supposed feature of Photoshop, where they're going to have all their plugins under the plugins menu. and they're using a different way to actually create these plugins. And the reason for that is the architecture they're using now um, is more secure. It has better technology to make things a bit more seamless. It's visually more appealing, et cetera. Um, but there are some limitations in for both. But the one thing to note is that the old extensions, um, it doesn't allow for some of the advanced features that are possible with the plugins menu which is what this one is, the main infinite color panel. So I included this, like I mentioned before, for the people that have a previous version of Photoshop that still want to use infinite color, the updated version. And we put as much as possible into it so that they're pretty much identical in how they work, and except for a couple of things. And this video is going to highlight that. And the couple of things are really pretty straightforward. And I've you've seen me talk about them through the website. And if you haven't you know, seen any of the tutorials, please check that out first so you can get an idea of how Infinite Color works and all that. But basically, here in the Tools tab for both, you will see that over here it says User Looks, and I can save the color grades. And if you notice or remember me saying, you physically cannot save color grades if you have a version of Photoshop, which is this one, which is reflected in 2020 and below or 2021, but you don't really want to install this version for 2021. You want to install this version, the one that has the plugins menu, and that's very important. Um, but basically, on this version here, you're not able to save the color grades um, that you create uh, through Infinite Color. And you can see here, this is reflective of the color grades that I've saved. When I click on them, I actually, you know, it pops up there easily. But um, for this one, what these buttons are here are actually these buttons here. So let's say that I click on this grain icon, then it pops up with this grain layer. So if I click on this, you'll see it does the same thing. And the same thing for the other buttons is contrast. This is fade. This is contrast. This is fade. So that's what we've done here. We've just um, have these tools here, which are these here, but you cannot save the color grades. The other thing that you notice is missing is this cog. This cog here is where you go to backup or import your settings. So if you want to, again, save um, your color grades to your desktop, so you have this file 
and so that you don't lose it or if you want to import it from another person who has um, saved their color grades you can do that here and last but not least we have uh, open infinite cloud so you can save everything through the cloud too which is our cloud and the older version doesn't have it so keep in mind like i mentioned before this copy here reflects um, photoshop cc 2020 and below since you won't have the color since you won't have the plugins menu and this is what you'll be able to work with and again this is specifically designed for people um, who want to update the old infinite color panel to the most modern version but uh, but yeah and last but not least i think it is important to mention that the interface itself is different so if you notice here this one's darker and this one matches the current theme this one will always stay this dark no matter what your theme is this one will always change based on the interface of photoshop so if i go to preferences and interface and i change my interface really quick here to say like a, a darker theme here you'll notice that it now finally updates and if i go back it will do the same thing to another version here you can see it kind of updates here and so forth so basically those are the main differences again you can't save or apply color grades if you are on the, the version bef before and you cannot import or backup or use infinite cloud on you, this version here so aside from that that's it everything else should work pretty much just like i've demonstrated in the tutorials on the website and i hope that uh, helps clarify some things and i can't wait to see what you do and check us out on instagram and facebook i'll leave the description i'll leave that in the description of this video so you can join our groups as well as um take part because we always like to feature everyone and uh, really make this a community i well, hope you have a good day and i will look forward to seeing what you create soon